Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to go over the best Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulators on Android. Let's get started. Alright, so there are two main emulators I like to use for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. There is a free version and a paid version of both emulators. The first emulator we're going to look at is My Old Boy. It is a Game Boy Color emulator, but also plays Game Boy games. This has a free and paid version. The free version has ads, and I will admit the ads can be a little annoying. And then they have a paid version, which is ad free. Now, I will say that this is rather pricey for a Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulator at $5.12 Canadian. There are a lot of options for customization, um, and this app is actually updated quite frequently. So if we scroll down here, you can see this app was last updated April 7th of this year. And that goes for both the free and paid versions. There are a lot of installs. This emulator is very, very popular. All right, so the second emulator that I would like to highlight is the John Game Boy Color emulator. This also does regular Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, and it is very, very good. Like the other John emulators, the NES and the SNES, this one is one of my personal favorites. John emulators are very, very good, and most Android phones and Android devices in general should not have trouble running any of these Game Boy Color emulators. So whether it's my old boy or the John Game Boy Color emulators, your phone, even if it's outdated, your tablet, if it's outdated, should be able to run these emulators without issue. And this is the free ad supported version of the emulator. There is also a paid version, which is considerably cheaper than the My Old Boy. This is $2.99 for the, in Canadian uh, dollars anyway, for the paid emulator. So the My Old Boy is $5.12 and the John emulator is $2.99. So from a price point, I would recommend the John Game Boy Color emulator. Um, but it'll be up to your personal preferences. This was last updated August or sorry, September 14th. Um, so this one is updated quite frequently. Um, just like the other John emulators, these guys stay right on top of things and make sure this app runs pretty well. Now there is a slight difference between the two. I would highly recommend downloading both and trying them out for yourself but I've recorded a short video and we'll take a quick look at that now of the gameplay side by side of these two emulators. All right, so I have both emulators up on the screen here. I have my old boy on this side and I have John Game Boy Color on that side. Now you can see initially the big differences are between the buttons. I will say though that you can adjust the button sizes and positions, so I'm not overly concerned about that. Uh, the big difference here is the color. So this is using a standard Game Boy game. I will also be bringing up a Game Boy Color game, but as it stands, this is Blades of Steel for the Game Boy. Now you can see the big difference between the two. These are both set on the original uh, color palette and there is a big difference between the two. So let's get started on this and you can see more of just a washed out color with the My Old Boy and a more defined color experience on the John Game Boy Color. So I'm gonna flip them over here to a different color palette. And I'll put them both on a grayscale palette. So now they're both on the grayscale palette and actually the opposite is true now. Now you see that on the John Game Boy Color, that the color palette is more washed out than on the My Old Boy. So this is where I say both emulators are good, but it's a matter of personal preference. And again, I'll say on the My Old Boy, for sure, it's extremely easy to change your screen position size, or screen position, change the screen size, change the button positions and the button size. So the buttons and whatnot, I wouldn't worry too much about. It's more or less the color palette and seeing how things are going. 
Now we'll go over to a Game Boy Color game, and this will be Pokemon Yellow. So you can see here, they're pretty much the same, not much of a difference at all between the two. Um, it's, in my opinion, a toss up between both emulators here. They both look pretty darn good. It's not a major difference between like one washed out and one not being washed out. They are pretty much the same. So when it comes to Game Boy Color, it'll really be whatever emulator you prefer. Uh, when it comes to the Game Boy, there is a big difference between washed out and non-washed out colors uh, between my old boy and John Game Boy Color. I would say in the original color palette, John Game Boy Color work looks better. In the grayscale palette, my old boy looks better. All right, so those are my recommendations for Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulators on Android. Honestly, it's gonna come down to a matter of opinion on which one you like better due to the fact that both of them look pretty much identical in Game Boy Color mode. However, both of them look drastically different in the regular Game Boy mode. The John Game Boy Color emulator is roughly half the price of the My, My Old Boy emulator. So let me know which emulator you like in the comments. If I didn't list your emulator there, it might be because I didn't feel that it was one of the top two. Uh, however, there is a chance that I actually might have missed it entirely. So if there's an emulator that I haven't listed in here, let me know below in the comments and I will either A, let you know on why I didn't choose it or B, check it out. All right, that's all I've got for today. Thank you everyone. Take care. Please subscribe.